Hey everybody, and welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're due for an Isaac run. I'm excited. We've been having some some pretty good performances lately. We had a cane run last time, and we won. Oh, what a su I'm just gonna take Sacrificial Dagger. I am growing to like this item a lot, actually. Um, oh, what a surprise! You won on a cane run! Did you get a 100 HP upgrade and full health pills? No. No, I did not for your information. In fact, uh, it was a little bit more of a... Um, how would we describe it? Like a, a middling cane run versus versus the average. We had the D20 for a long time. Our mileage, you know, varied with the D20. It never came out with anything like truly game winning for us, but it did give us a, a few benefits. Um, apart from that, uh, quad shot plus skinny odd mushroom was basically what carried us and we only got that on the chest. Such awful, awful damage. Uh, along with a full health pill, um, like very, very slightly uh, oh, that was the best sacrificial dagger usage ever, and we get a coin purse, but we're not Kane anymore. This should be interesting. Anyway, we won. That's the long story short. Well, at the very least, we're going to identify four pills here. Here we go. Bad gas. Range up. Got many of those in the last run. Tears up. And... Telepills into an IM error room. So my best friend sucks, but we'll at least gain uh, a lot from these. So that would actually turned out reasonably okay. Goat Hoof kind of sucks, Birdfoot kind of sucks. Yeah, we got 11 cents, a penny, a range upgrade, a tears upgrade. That's all right. I'm, I'm okay with this. Yeah. Yeah, let's go down to the next floor. So, Sacrificial Dagger and a tears upgrade, effectively. We're probably not gonna go to this item room right off the bat. My reasoning is, I think it makes way more sense to, uh, save it and probably should have looked down for the secret room but oh well um, makes more sense to save it and uh, try to use it on the shop instead if we get enough money but first things first we're well not even first things first because I was thinking we would have enough rooms to generate a reroll but we had two rooms with no enemies in them um, but yeah we'll, we'll get a reroll ready to go more or less and then we'll go into the um, boss room here and hopefully earn ourselves a deal with the devil which is one thing I really thought that maybe I could get a second secret room there. One thing we did not have at all in the last run. And actually, you know what? Money is not going to be an object for us in this situation. And now we can go to the item room. Um, yeah, okay. I'm happy to have Inner Eye. It gives us triple shot. It, it shows up so rarely relative to Mutant Spider, aka Quad Shot, that um, I was like, what is this? Is this just like Kane's Eye or something? Then I was like, wait a minute. We have Kane's Eye and it's a trinket. It's not even the same class of items. But yeah, triple shot is, is really nice. I like it. So we'll fight our boss now. But anyway, yeah, what I was going to say is our money is no longer an object. Uh, because we have this uh, blood bank here. This arcade on this very first floor. Not to mention, holy crap, um, that golden chest paid out very nicely for us. But anyway, what a good second floor so far. Triple shot and um, more than enough money. An arcade. Good stuff can happen there. And of course, the um, you know cherry on top here. Potential for a deal with the devil or angel. This is the same Isaac instance that I had open earlier, but I don't think we really set a precedent for deals with the devil or deals with the angel on that last run, so I really have no idea um, what that means for our uh, for our item generation chances here. What I do know is that Monstro, not really too much of a, uh, a threat for us with uh, the way our damage and, and you know movability is looking right now. There's our HP upgrade, and we did indeed get to deal with the devil. Deal with the Devil contains the mark, and I think I would be stupid to not take that. And I think it'd be stupid to not try to take an item for three spirit hearts as well. So we'll reroll Necronomicon. We could pick up and reroll Necronomicon, but I'd rather save the hearts just in case. Alright, so Guppy's Paw is interesting. You know, for three spirit hearts, I think it's actually worth picking up Guppy's Paw and then putting it back down. That'll give us a good chance to become Guppy, and in a way, we kind of struck a balance there. We could have, you know, fucked around with it a little bit. We could have, well, there's a few options. We could have gotten rid of the D6 and played Guppy, or, like, kept Guppy, uh, Guppy's Paw, I should say. That could have been great for us, or it could have been terrible. Um, we could have played Guppy's Paw once, and then, uh, that would have given us some spirit hearts to maybe protect us on this blood bank. Not the worst idea, I think. Or we could have played Guppy's, heart, uh, Guppy's Paw zero times, which is what we ended up doing. And I think that's the best option for me right now. So our damage is going to be very nice as a result of this, um... This mark pickup, obviously. And we're going to be able to do some interesting stuff with this shop, I'm hoping. Uh, and that fortune teller, and, you know, there's going to be a lot of gambling probably taking place here, let's be honest. So, blue candle. If I can't buy blue candle and re-roll it, that's, that's not a big deal. So, you know, this shop is going to go down as a wash for big items, but, uh, that's okay. We'll have the opportunity to do some, some wild stuff here, I'm thinking. 
Could look at the secret room as well. It's probably a good idea. Um, I think we buy this for sure, and probably that'll end up paying out, like, evenly. We might lose one cent on the transaction. That's not so bad. And it could also have given us the chance to get that HP upgrade, of course. So we're going to go a little hard here. And just see... You know, I like being at 15 cents, but I would also love to earn some more HP here, considering I gave a decent amount up. And we got Fly Love, so, you know, how do I feel about that? Well, I don't think we're going to get a reroll anyway. We'll play it till 10 cents, which we just did, and then we'll leave, and we'll do some thinking here. I will pick up, like, I'm not just going to leave Fly Love on the ground. A few different possible locations for a secret room here. Yeah, we found it first try. Good, enough money for us to, you know, go back to that shop, maybe. And where would our second secret room be? There's, uh, not that many possibilities for it. And there's some more red hearts back here, which is what I'm really going for, but... Sure, what an interesting second floor. I think we're in a good position. It's just, um, you know, a little bit scary because I've given up a, a decent amount of my health, but our, our damage and tears are gonna be good. What about this one? Come on, work with me. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so, but the good news is... There's only two possible secret room locations that I see left. Uh, and this is one of them. Okay, good. Yeah, okay, so the Polaroid, I think, is slightly better than Kane's Eye. For a couple of reasons. The big one being that it's gonna give us a huge amount of, uh... Plays on this Blood Bank. When we get our permanent Polaroid Invincibility activated. Right now, for example. Hey, and it paid out. Okay, so we didn't need to get, uh, the Polaroid to make that happen, but we did. And that's that. I would say we're going down to the next floor now, and, uh, that turned out really well? Yeah. We got triple shot, we got the mark, we had the same amount of HP as we did when we came down. That's pretty solid. And we have enough money to definitely make something worthwhile happen on this shop, and there you go. We get a compass right off the bat. Okay! So, some, with some good decisions, this has worked out fairly well for us so far, in my opinion. Keep in mind, we did also, uh, pick up Guppy's Paw. We didn't uh, really do anything with it, but we did pick it up. And as far as I'm concerned, that's a big positive. Even though we lost three Spirit Hearts to do it, I think it's a huge play if we end up getting at least one more Guppy item. Then we have that in the back of our minds that, you know, even picking up nine lives with the little amount of HP we have right now uh, is not so bad. Could give us a ton of damage, especially considering we have triple shot in the mark already and our flies would be amazing. Anyway, let us be okay here. Good. Eh, we can use that later. Alright, Sister Maggie. How do I feel about Sister Maggie? I feel like Sister Maggie is quite possibly a reroll. Now, Super Pride, sorry, Ultra Pride, is uh, an enemy that I've had a contentious relationship with. It's a very difficult mini boss. Maybe the most difficult mini boss in the game, if I'm being honest. I think, at least. Kind of like Super Sloth mixed with like a little bit of uh, Gemini or something like that. But it will give us the left hand. Would I rather have left hand or Polaroid? Well, why don't we live a little? We're gonna have to roll with Polaroid eventually, of course. Um, so why don't we, uh, why don't we enjoy the left hand? That sounded exactly the way I meant it to. And it does give us a decent, ch or a better chance, I think, of becoming Guppy. So I think we'll re-roll Sister Maggie. Honestly, I... <laughs> like, ten bombs is not gonna blow the doors off of any runs, but I think ten bombs might be better than Sister Maggie. Especially if it gives me, uh, you know, secret rooms. Which it should. Okay, so far so good. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna sweat over that decision too much. I turned one not-so-great item into one not-so-great item. And we have rerolls ready for the curse room, we have rerolls ready for, um, you know, boss deal with the devil, uh, kind of double whammy if possible. We'll see. Good stuff. And... I might have misplanned the rerolls ever so slightly. I forgot that we have Fly Love, actually, so... That's really nice for rooms like this. I n didn't even notice we're on the catacombs, by the way, versus the caves, so... Of course this is gonna be a little bit harder than your average floor at this point. There should be a Spider Love item. I would kill for that. Fly Love is okay, as we learned on that last run, but Spider Love, man, that's where it's at. So I'm gonna try to keep, uh... My reroll, and, and we'll just not go to the curse room, because I don't want to lose my chances of getting a, a deal with the devil by sacrificing red hearts. I think we know where our secret room is at this point, and we don't even need to use a bomb to get to it. It'll be adjacent to that curse room. But that curse room is a major focus for me, because if there's a guppy item in there, all bets are off. Alright. HP. 
I'll take it. I always weigh that, just in case there's nine lives in there. Which there isn't, thankfully, I guess. But I took it so I could take two items here if I really, really wanted to. This is going to be a reroll for us. Guppy's head. We're going to take it. We're going to go pretty hard on this. Um, and that obviously lowers our HP substantially. But now we're only one item away from becoming Guppy, and we're very, very early on. So I like this a lot. We should go to our curse room first, and uh, yeah, that's, that's a decent amount of money. And then I'm going to come back here, and we'll, we'll see these pills. That's what I was thinking, is maybe there's a telepills. Okay. Bombs are key. Hey, I like it. Now I'm very glad I picked up ten bombs. Teleported. Kind of hoping for, a, for an IM error room, but that's okay. And now we only have one bomb, actually, so... I don't love the idea of looking for a second secret room, but I'm going to do it anyway, and I'm going to bet it's here. Okay. Well, we lose. Bombs in here? Yeah, I don't think it's worth it, though. I'd rather save our money. Okay, so we're down to two HP. You could make a pretty convincing case that that was a very dangerous pickup. And now, if I don't become Guppy, then I've, I've sacrificed a lot for, uh, for nothing. But if I do become Guppy, it's all worth it. And uh, we're lucky enough that we've gotten a decent amount of HP to make uh, this like risky play pretty viable. So obviously, uh, Telepathy for Dummies is something that I'm going to be re-rolling. We do have a Blood Bank on this floor, which is always nice. Well, often nice. Well, you're not dead yet, huh? Um, yeah, so we'll be able to get enough money to go to the shop, even if we didn't normally get enough money to go to the shop, which we probably would. And I assumed that the shop would contain greed, but amazingly, it did not. There is a half-price spirit heart in there. That's something that seems kind of tempting. But with us being so close to our boss room, ah, we'll, we'll, we'll do this the normal way. I would totally pick up nine lives right now and, and love the shit out of it. So I'm, I'm hoping that we get that opportunity, actually. Because it would be fun, and then I don't want to buy the Spirit Heart yet. I'll buy it after I get the chance to, uh, you know, see if we get uh, nine lives. Because I'll, I'll need that protection at that moment instead. Luckfoot. All pills are good. And also increased payout from uh, arcade, uh, arcade options. So very happy to have that. Luckfoot is, um, you know, better than the PhD? I think it is. Because of the extra gambling uh, synergies that it has. So I'm stoked about that. Magician is not a great card, but we'll find a use for it. This should be a very easy room. And the caves are... I mean, we're just killing them, aren't we? Killing them softly with our dong. Killing them softly with our dong. Anyway. Mob trap room. We'll take a look inside, but I really should not have... Um, oh, man, that's, that could be interesting. I really should not have uh, gone into this room. Because I fucked up and probably cost us one reroll there. And that's really unfortunate, actually. Did I buy Mom's purse yet? I did, didn't I? I think I did. If not, I'll go back and get it. But anyway, start by taking out Fistula. You know the rules. Fistula should be easy. Kind of wish it was uh, the darker version of Fistula because I have uh, Fly Love. And as a result, it would not nearly be under as much danger from bomb flies as normal. And then we get the added benefit of the chain reaction. This version of Fistula is almost always easier. This might be one of the rare cases where uh, the champion version would actually be a little bit more of a cakewalk. But anyway, easy fight, as you could probably tell. This is an important moment. And we got basically nothing. <laughs> So, maybe not as important as I thought. Did I... Am I carrying Mom's Purse? I'm going to walk down here, because I I might be a total idiot. I think I did not buy Mom's Purse, because I only had 14 cents. Obviously, we're going to buy it. You know, the left hand is okay. Uh, but, you know, we, we're going to have to get the Polaroid at some point, but maybe we'll get an even better trinket to replace the left hand. Maybe. I don't know. So, with one bomb, I maybe could have gotten four bombs there, but you know by now that I'm terrible at... Uh, that situation. We're not going to get another reroll anyway, so we might as well just open this up and see. Well, not really what I was interested in. Kind of was hoping that would be a guppy item, but it was a long shot, you know. I, I wasn't holding out a whole bunch of hope that that would be a guppy item, given uh, the odds of it, but that's okay. You live and learn, right? Now, this arcade could still be super important. Remember that I have... Uh, Luckfoot now, so I should be getting just a ton of payouts every which way. And we'll pick up this. Uh, truth be told, 
we should be gambling a little bit here, especially with mom's uh, purse. We could get a trinket. A trinket like Bloody Penny would be amazing. Uh, pinky Eye is also really good. Yeah, a trinket like Bloody Penny would be amazing in this situation. And oftentimes shows up uh, and basically guarantee us a payout. And then we have a reroll. So, it's an interesting one. Do we want Pinky Eye or um, Mom's Pearl? Because Mom's Pearl gives us more of a Spirit Heart payout. Cancer, is, well, cancer will replace uh, Left Hand, I guess. Even though we do really want to double down on becoming Guppy. What is this? Two of Clubs. Okay, well, we're out of money for a second. We got a convoluted situation over there. Oh, we didn't have the Polaroid there, so I fucked it up a little. Okay, get the Polaroid back. Where is that? Oh, I, I never had the Polaroid to begin with. What was I thinking? Um, we have a Lover's card over here, though. Good. This will give us some more plays here, and even if it's IV bag, I just want a chance to reroll it. Okay. Good, good enough, you know. Sort of. What do we got over here? High Priestess, Magician. Magician card gets used. I wish there was a way to just hit delete on trinkets and then kick them out of the game forever. Oh, we got another Joker. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. We're fighting Krampus. And this is an interesting situation because we could reroll Krampus. Well, we could reroll Lump of Coal, I should say, and try to get a Guppy item. But I really, really like Lump of Coal, so we're not going to do that. I don't want to put all of our eggs in that guppy-shaped basket, as cute as that would be on Easter. Um, I would very much like to, you know, diversify our, our chances a little bit. And picking up Lump of Coal helps us out a lot whether or not we do become guppy. And what are the odds of us rerolling this into a guppy item? Probably like 1 in... 1 in 8. So, I, uh, I mean, that's a number I pulled out of my ass, but... We only have nine lives and uh, Guppy's tail left in the that rotation. But I'm very happy that basically by playing the shit out of this arcade, we just got a free lump of coal. Well, that's not true. I sacrificed half a spirit heart for it. But still, um, well worth it, I think, obviously. Obviously. What do we have over here? Two of clubs. Matchstick. We're going to have to sort this shit out when we leave, man. Okay, crystal ball. Crystal ball is good. Um, but the best part about it is that we can use that uh, as a reroll pedestal when we leave here. So we'll gamble on this three skull Monty now. And red hearts would be awesome. Oh, really? That was really what I wanted most there. Okay. Well, okay, that's good. We're going to keep playing you. It's been a very arcade focused uh, few runs here. We're not going to be taking the crystal ball with us, so don't think that this is going to be, you know, the same thing as many recent runs. Oh, Jesus, just give me the red hearts. They're so valuable right now. Okay, well, that's that. Uh, what other cards do we have? High Priestess. Hermit. High Priestess Hermit? Hermit card we can't use. Reroll. We want Cancer, probably, as a trinket, that is. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll sacrifice half a spirit heart here. And then that'll give us, you know, maybe a thread to start playing this guy again. It's risky, but I'm going to do it again. I'll go as far as a full spirit art. Because I really want to get, like, either a double item pedestal or the HP upgrade here. Okay, well, that's that. I say we reroll Crystal Ball. Becomes Mr. Mega. That's really good. Then we come over to this guy and we blow him up. He gives us two keys, which means we won't be doing much more gambling. And what card do we want? Two of clubs, we might as well take right now. Cancer pinky eye? Sure, that's an okay setup. And then we'll take the hermit card with us and use it on the next floor. Okay, yeah, you know, that's fine. I mean, it worked out really well. We got a free lump of coal. I can't be too salty about the situation. Mr. Mega's a good item. We got a lot as a result of gambling there. Looking for second secret rooms, of course. Not just showing off, it just seems like the right idea, really. And these are free bombs, if you don't want to get technical about it. Oh, yeah. So, we'll definitely get three bombs for two bombs. And then, oh, three bombs for one Mr. Mega Bomb. And that'll pay for my uh, secret room crack here. Hey. Oh, fuck. We would have played that more. We didn't know, though. Well, at least we got another key out of it. The golden key is obviously worth nothing right now. Interesting. Why do we have pinky eye and matchstick? I want Pinky Eye and Cancer for now. Then we can roll a Cancer Polaroid after we get down to the next floor. So I apologize that this has taken so long. Uh, but we did get benefits out of this, obviously. 
obviously. And if we're going to um, leave, we might as well blow this up. We have the bombs. Yeah, that's fine. All right, uh, so we're still, you know, we've got that guppy dream going on. Uh, but even if we don't become guppy, we're pretty offensively potent right now. Could always be better, and, uh, you know, the sore spot for this run right now is very limited HP. But we've got a lot of benefits working out in our favor right now as well. I like it. So it's down to the next floor, and uh, it's an XL floor. There is a, uh, a boss trap room, so it's kind of um, not the normal play, but this is not a normal floor layout. I'm going to be trying to hit that boss trap room as soon as possible because I, well, obviously at some point I'll want to get more red hearts, right? So we might as well hit that up early on in the floor, even if it doesn't necessarily line up perfectly from a reroll standpoint. Actually, it looks like we'll probably have to go back around this way. So yeah, I might fuck up some rerolls here. If I'm going to fuck up some rerolls, we might as well find the item room along the way. And the shop, I guess. Probably pretty justifiable to expect Greed to be in this shop. But anyway. Please. Thank you. Oh, the neutral flies still hurt. Good to know. There's uh, We did some recon on Fly Love there. That's all that was. Uh, Spelunker sat. I'm going to take it. Not very good, but good enough. That'll help us find secret rooms. And now we see that there's a Greed um, in another one of these rooms. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be Greed, actually could be any other mini boss so we'll reroll the ladder because it sucks and I would the oh, fuck. the the battery is like right on the borderline of what I would consider a reroll at the moment it's good but it's not that good I'm just gonna double I really should have used that hermit card by the way yeah we can just leave it on the floor now uh, yeah like the battery is in my opinion the worst of all of the, like, increased spacebar generation items. It's my spacebar generation. You know, you, you were thinking it, probably. Or maybe you're going with the much inferior Who cover of Limp Biscuits, my generation. Now, let's be cool here. I have taken a lot of damage. It is Necropolis. You would expect it. You know what? We can use that Hermit card to uh, give us a pretty good chance. Well, pretty good might be an overstatement, but a chance to get an extra um, deal with the devil after the mom fight. So that's what we'll do. So this is good. More HP from our boss trap room. I'd say we've handled this pretty appropriately so far. Because this is such a big floor, I feel like I want to reroll the ladder. Not the ladder. We already rerolled the ladder. I feel like I want to reroll um, the battery. And the only things that would make it worse our Notched Axe, Blue Candle, Book of Revelations, and we could reroll those. But this is our last shot, man. I want to get a map or a better augmentation. Nine Volt, Nun's Habit in particular, of course. Um, but yeah, I think the battery is, it's working its way out of my good books just because it's, it's not as good as it used to be. Especially if you get it late. If you get it early, like if this was the first shop, I would just buy the battery. There wouldn't even be any hesitation about it, probably. Um, but because we're so late and, uh, you know, we already know what we've gotten, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it up. We're gonna re-roll it and try to get something better. Okay. So that HP means, means a lot to me. We are gonna stick with the Hermit card, because it could be beneficial. We can't buy anything yet anyway, so this is all, like, super theory crafting, but... That's another item that would make me disappointed. I know that there's a Greed on the floor, at least it looks like a Greed, so... Um, that means it's a little bit more likely that I will get the money necessary to buy something. Could just drop the steam sale, then we could buy the steam sale for half price. That's a deal if I've ever seen one. Okay, more bombs. Uh, so it's not greed, actually. It's a different mini boss, which is great because it opens the possibility that it could be uh, a mini boss. Wow, what a shot. Could be a mini boss like a uh, Gluttony, for example. And that could give us some much needed HP. Game Kid. Game Kid is good enough to take into uh, one room and get some HP back, I'd say. I don't know if this was the right room, but Sacrificial Dagger is going to cut this dude up. And there we go, nearly full health. Alright, so we're going to reroll Game Kid as well. What, what's more important, rerolling Game Kid or rerolling uh, the shop item? You know, if we had the money, I would say the shop item. Since we don't have the money, I'm going to hedge my bets a little bit and say we reroll the Game Kid instead. Can't believe we haven't found the secret room yet. So obviously, you know, I'm hoping that this is the 3200th run in a row where I get uh, Attack Fly, one of my favorite items. One of my favorite passive items, at least. Like an unsung hero. One of my favorite familiars, shall we say, or orbitals. Technically more of an orbital, I guess. Okay. Now. 
Sure, shoot the whoop. That's uh, that's super rerollable as well. Doesn't really matter whether we reroll that or uh, game kid, in my opinion. Oh, so good. Okay, piercing shots. It's not quite polyphemus, but it's still really, really excellent. So I am hoping that uh, this ends up being very, very beneficial for me. This looks exactly like the way to get to the boss room. Which is alright, because we can fight the boss and then get a deal with the devil later. I really think we're not going to get a deal with the devil. I think that is a, a bit of a pipe dream at this point. Oh, that money. Okay, so now the shop is looking pretty solid. And there's an eternal heart. That is incredibly generous of you, game. Thank you very much. Now, how would you handle this? you probably teleport back to the shop using this hermit card after fighting mom. Is that what my, the voice inside of my head is telling me? But we can get so many more rerolls if we just handle this properly. You know, I okay, I'm going to fight one boss since we have a reroll ready. Of course it's bloat. Got very lucky to not get hit there. All right, pinky eye, triple shot, good damage, and um, the piercing shot's not super beneficial, but lump of coal. Rook with me here, baby. You can do it. That's the stuff right there. Oh, the shots go through the eyes, so they don't actually offer any protection at all anymore. That is really nice, and this is over. Wow, that was very easy. You think I'm going to reroll the pentagram? Are you crazy? Not a chance in hell. All right, so we don't want that eternal heart yet, so... Uh... I want to wait on that a little bit. So what do we reroll? I because we don't have the money quite yet, I think we do reroll a game kid. And we'll still have plenty of rerolls for uh I'll take it. We we still have plenty of rerolls for the shop and not that many items that it could be. So, this floor is is turning out pretty excellently. Even though our chances to become guppy on it are essentially nil except for our hermit deal with the devil kind of swindle that we're going to try to pull. Are you serious that we have not found secret room or se second secret room at this point with Spelunker's hat? It's kind of nuts. But yeah, good, good, good stuff on this floor so far. Let's get more rerolls. And now we've found, uh, you know, all of the rooms of value. Eh, can't really do too much there. There we go, second secret room. If it's an eternal heart, we'll, we'll complete that eternal heart because it means it's, you know, no risk. It's over here. I don't even know what I'm hoping that this is. Just an item, I guess, or a red chest, and then a guppy item. Which it was not. We got halfway there. That's okay. All right, rerolls are ready. Let's take it down to the shop here. Obviously, we're going to get enough money now that we know that the secret room is available. There's poops and fires. Could get pageant boy from the boss. There's many, many uh, plausible outs here. Um, the more the merrier, I say. Nine volt. Nine volt is good enough. It's better than the battery, and it makes me feel vindicated in my decision to not take the battery, even though it cost us some rerolls. I think it's worth it. But, first things first, we gotta uh, get the money, right? That's gonna help out. That's half of what we need, effectively. Not effectively, that's, like, literally half of what we need. Even if I had taken damage there, we had that extra HP there to back us up. And you know what? In this situation, I kind of like two keys to open a golden chest. I feel totally okay about that. And the speed upgrade? Yeah, I could have re-rolled it. I think we've done enough bullshit with re-rolls on this floor so far. There's our uh, 15 cents sorted for sure. So, we're gonna have another re-roll available immediately after buying the 9 volt. How should we handle it? My thinking... That's really unfortunate. My thinking is um, we now use it immediately on the IV bag, but we've got some other stuff to do on this floor first. Otherwise, I would have gone to the boss room. Anyway, um, sure, we'll pick that up, uh, that helps. Maybe not worth a, a, a key in most situations, but this is in most situations. So now we have one more, uh, pedestal to help us sap a little bit of our time here. At least a couple of rerolls left. Let's make that IV bag, uh, worth something a little bit more valuable. Spider butt, not quite what I was looking for. Because it's pretty bad. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not going to take it back. Thank God Gish got the slow off there. At least I only got hit once. And I'm glad we're clearing this room out, I guess. But at the same time, I'm mostly just glad I didn't pick up that Eternal Heart prior to entering. Because I would be uh, scared chickless right now about the chances of me losing that forever. Alright, go hard here. Yep, yeah, that's what I figured. The piercing shots help out a lot. A bomb for a red heart is, in my opinion, completely justifiable right now. Oh, nice. Good poison damage. 
Yeah, yeah, completely justifiable. We've got a decent number of bombs. They're Mr. Megas, so a little bomb goes a long way. I know that we have a reroll ready. What can I say? You know, sometimes my laziness does trump uh, my somewhat decent knowledge of, of proper, you know, flowchart style play, you know? Let's put this down there and there. Okay, bomb for a bomb. The bang, the bang, dicky. Plenty of bombs to back us up here. That's some good stuff. Now we will reroll the crap out of uh, Spider Bite. Spider Butt. Spider Bite is awesome, actually. And. Loki's horns. Pretty bad. But. We can go and eventually get a. A reroll immediately upon buying the 9 volt. So I'm not sweating it too much. I'm just hoping that there's enough rooms here to actually give me uh, what I want. And th like another reroll, basically. Uh, yeah, that's that's a lot of money. Nothing wrong with that. We have Luckfoot, so we could gamble the shit out of that fortune teller, but I'm not going to. Spiders and flies. Oh me. Oh my. Good. More spirit arts. Without even having Mom's Pearl. Lucky me. Explode. Thank you. Piercing shots. Oh, I love you, piercing shots. Thank you. And fly love. Don't don't knock fly love right now. Another key. So we should have one more room. Then we get our reroll. Hopefully it's good. If not, we buy uh, nine volt. We get another reroll. Then we go fight the boss. And hopefully don't need the reroll for the boss or for the deal with the devil room that comes after. So there's no enemies there. So in order to do this, we have to buy the nine volt first. Womp womp. Actually, we should have bought the nine volt way earlier. And this didn't factor into my thinking. So again. I apologize, I'm a little dumb sometimes. If we'd bought the 9 volt way earlier, instead of focusing on getting that one free reroll from it, um, we would have gotten rerolls every two rooms instead of every three, and then I probably would have gotten at least two more rerolls over the course of the entire floor. That's me being a little bit of a dummy. I apologize, but, uh, you know, I am as God made me, sir. Let's make our way down here and uh, reroll Loki's horns into Mom's bra, which is not good enough, but again, what did we miss out on from that item pedestal? Loki's fucking horns. No big deal. So we fight Mom. We Hermit card out. Pray for a shop. Sorry, pray for a deal with the devil. Hermit card takes us to the shop, of course. Uh, if we get a deal with the devil, nine lives might be a little risky. But uh, if we get Guppy's tail, we pick it up. No brainer. If we get nine lives, we may pick it up. Might as well take that. I'm not going to take four hits of damage or six hits of damage on Mom's heart. So Or on Mom. Hopefully I don't take that much on Mom's heart either. Okay, so I, I got a little too close there, and it worked out for me. But d again, as always, do as I say, not as I do. This is a fight where we can afford to stand far away and, and do some good stuff, but I'm, uh, I'm trying to make Sacrificial Dagger work for me as best as possible. Super easy, okay. So we're not going to pick up meat yet. And the reason we're not going to pick up meat is just in case we get nine lives. This would give us a little extra HP. It would be a bit of an out, you know? So Hanged Man, um, we'll use this on our trip up here and that could give me access to this chest and who knows what's inside that bucket of syrup up here you know two red hearts can't use those Ooh, that was kind of close okay mom's bra actually a pretty good item but if we get it on the chest I would take it instead of the d6 we're not at the chest yet so this is um, a bit of a different situation now I don't think that I will earn a deal with the devil here but I think I could Down to the next floor, then. All right. Compass, no map. Second secret room is here. Arcade. Um, yeah, I'll just pick that up right away. Because I'm not going to gamble on the arcade anyway. The most disappointing thing here is uh, it's an XL floor, and there's no curse room. So our chances of becoming guppy for, with an item on this floor, pretty much nil, I'd say. Maybe even literally nil. I'm not sure. Maybe we can just get a, a very lucky red chest or something. But, yeah, it's, it's not looking super likely. And that means it's not looking super likely overall, because our best chance by far of getting guppy items is uh, deals with the devil, because we have a choice of, you know, re-rolling and what items we actually find, and, you know, the pool's not that enormous. Tears upgrade, very nice. So I'm feeling very, very good about this run so far, and I think we have a, a very real chance of a, a victory. Guppy or no guppy. But I would love to be guppy. I've always wanted to be a cat. Just sit around all day, doesn't it seem grand? Lick your own anus. Always wanted to do that. Who hasn't? Don't lie to me. What do you mean I'm the weird? You're the weird one. 
That was a random chest that didn't work out for us. Where the fuck is the entrance to the boss room? How are we supposed to... How are we supposed to get over there? I, I don't get it. It looks like a long trip. Well, then we'll go to the library and we'll start to groom this into a double item room for, uh, for our own personal benefit. And what looked to be a... Wow, tears upgrade. What looked to be a, a pretty light and easy floor is now taking on a bit of an exhausting tone. Unfortunately. Maybe fortunately. You know, maybe we'll end up picking up some great items as a result of our struggle here, but... A little bit annoying. That's okay, though. We got plenty of time. Alright, well, Book of Revelations is nice. That should give us one cube of meat. Book of Shadows could let us play that blood bank a little bit, but I'm not gonna sweat it too much. So we'll go down, down, and then left and around. That pill, well, it has to be good. We don't know. It's tears upgrade again. Can never have too many of those until they stop giving you any benefit at all. But for right now, considering we have triple shot, which lowers our uh, rate of fire, very happy to have it. Let's check out the secret room. I really don't want to consistently use two bombs to sneak our way around the secret room. Um, so we'll we'll clear out these rooms instead. Should be easy, give us more charges. Good stuff. And it's a long... Well, that's not where I want to go. It's a long floor, but by the same token, it is a good thing. Uh, because, again, we'll get rerolls and we're fighting two bosses at once, so it'll move relatively fast. But, yeah, but two books of sin. We still got some other books. Don't get too excited yet. I think we do, at least. We did see Telepathy for Dummies, and we saw the Necronomicon, but I didn't buy it. But I bought the pedestal that came after it, so I don't know if maybe somehow in the game's wormy code that, uh, you know, makes it actually like we picked it up. So Judgment's nice. A little bit of a stall, but that's okay. You can do it. I can put your back into it and all that jazz. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. If nothing else, hey, that's nice. If nothing else, we can take that Wheel of Fortune card down to the chest. But if we get a better... Uh, a better tarot card, then that's even better, isn't it? Alright, massive infamy, you know, still problematic for me, even after all these years. Whoa. At least we're not having to dodge anything, like, too terrible as we move along here. Oh, that's the beautiful stuff there, yeah. Like, Loki with piercing shots is just not even a threat at all. And we gotta be getting pretty close, but this is a bit of an enormous floor. We can afford to be picky with the items that we get from our library. What do I want? The ability to fly. That is, um, like, the key defensive item pick, us, pick up for us right now. Guppy items, obviously, but I don't think it's too fucking likely. There's Necronomicon, so, you know, lesson learned on that one, I suppose. Probably got about, you know, three rerolls left. We're lucky our speed is high enough that I can make this trip without it being too deleterious to my mental health. And there is a mob trap room. We'll walk inside, and if it has a golden chest, maybe I'll go for it. But if it has a red chest, I'll go for it. Otherwise, eh. I don't really like the value proposition for mob trap rooms once the enemies actually start being hard, you know? Maybe if we need a reroll. We'll see. Okay. Wow. That is super lucky. This is the easiest room ever made. Thank you. And still a long trip here, so I'm really hoping we get some good items right off the bat, so I don't have to consistently make this gauntlet. I mean, again, I mentioned we were pretty quick, and that's true, but it takes us longer and longer each time to get back here, so... You know, it's it's, it's not gonna be the most fun trip forever. What do we got here? Book of Belial would be a crazy good item for us. Using Book of Belial once every two rooms, damage would be out of control. It's good. That being said, I would rather have our D6 in this situation, get a double item room, maybe some passives, keep the D6, use it later. Wow, that was really smart of me. At least we don't have a uh, an eternal heart to lose anymore. We already got our HP. I'm okay. I'd still... Why would I use a bomb rather than a key in that situation? I have 25 keys. It ended up working out, but still. Uh, yeah, time to put my money where my mouth is, unfortunately. If that was a red chest, I absolutely totally would have opened it because the even the small chance to become Guppy would be so worthwhile. So I was getting way too close to Wrath there. My thinking being that, hey, we have Sacrificial Dagger. 
I really do, like, I was not just paying lip service to Sacrificial Dagger. It's become one of my favorite items in the game. The more and more we, uh, the more and more we play and the more and more I get it. I do really think it's maybe my second favorite orbital after, uh, Guardian Angel. Even if it doesn't block shots, the amount of damage that it does, especially if you get permanent Polaroid inv invincibility, god forbid, is incredible. It is worth noting that, yes, if I had, uh, you know, Guppy's Paw by now, or still, at this point, we would have, uh, what? 8 times 3, 18 plus 2 and a half spirit, 20 and a half spirit hearts? With permanent Polaroid invincibility and Sacrificial Dagger, that would probably be more or less a guaranteed win. But, you gotta, you know, you live and learn. We could do some interesting stuff with our D20, of course. Um, like, I could, uh, go to that blood bank and play like crazy, but at this point, I don't have the patience for, the, for that kind of stuff. This run's gone on fairly long already. Oh, okay, well, we could play that. I know we have the fortune teller as well, so, like, not fortune teller, sorry, luck foot. So, we could have some crazy, we could have a breaking run or something like that, but I really, really don't want to spend two hours trying to make it work. So... We will walk out here. If you want to see people break in the game, you know, you can watch uh, Bisnap or Namastack or, you know, anybody along those lines. Plenty of Isaac content creators out there who min-max. I'm more of a, uh... I was trying to think of something clever, but maybe there isn't one. Justice. It's fine. Uh, but, you know, nothing to necessarily write home about. So if this reroll doesn't work and give us really, really good stuff, then I'll be, uh probably just fighting the bosses and moving on because at this point this floor is taking a little bit longer than I am comfortable with but things should move pretty quickly in the future really we just got not unlucky because that implies some weird kind of causality here but we got screwed by a very strange kind of floor generation I think you've got to admit that uh, like the boss rooms were so close to the spawn room but it was a 20 room trek to actually get over there that's not something that happens very often Oh, uh, well, watch out here. So, we're gonna go, um, oh, up to the very tippy top here. Probably s that diction sounded weird coming with, from a voice like this, but it is always worth noting that I'm actually only nine years old. So, uh, yeah, I can't help that puberty hit me like a ton of bricks. Skinny odd mushroom. Lovely. Able. Eh, eh. Able always shows up. Skinny odd mushroom, though. One of my favorite items. Uh, I I've been saying that a lot lately. It's a it's a name or like a you know um, superlative that I put out there all the time. That being said, uh, it's good. Lowers our damage a little bit. That'll be compensated for by you know the mark and lump of coal, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, above all else, compensated by the extreme increases in our rate of fire. I assume. Uh, I'm a little bit scared about how fast our damage is. Able, of course, um, more or less worthless, but. He shows up. He's like an old friend at this point. We gotta keep him around. Alright, Conquest. Real pain in the dick. That being said, um, you know, we'll fight him. And I should be able to reroll uh, White Pony if he drops White Pony. And if he drops... Oh, get to the door. If he drops a cube of meat, then I'll just be happy with it. But I think if he drops White Pony, I can reroll it because he's the first out of two item rooms. I might be mistaken in that, but... Because, if I'm mistaken in that, it's because Mom's heart doesn't drop an item, I think, but my logic is that anything can happen in Isaac, uh, because the, the logic in the game doesn't necessarily make a whole fuck ton of sense. So, we'll reroll that, we get a range upgrade. Lovely. It does beat White Pony, as long as we're not willing to give up our D6 at least. Probably a pretty good case to be made that the ability to fly is actually okay for us right now. So we gotta be pretty careful here, because we have, um... You know, great bombs. Mr. Mega Bombs are lovely here. But, we also have piercing shots, which makes it really easy to fuck up our crowd control by shooting our bombs out of the way. So, just, I'm waiting until they get very close to exploding. Actually, truth be told, it means we probably don't need to use nearly as many bombs because our piercing shots would do the crowd control for us. But, what's done is done. And it's up to the next floor. And yeah, we're going into this. I have to. I'm so sorry. It would be great to reroll the pact and pick up a guppy item instead, especially given the number of opportunities we have, but again, what, what's my philosophy been on this run? We're not putting all our eggs in that cute guppy-shaped basket. We've got we to gotta diversify our, uh, our possibilities here. And it makes the most sense to me to pick up the pact. Increases our damage a little bit, increases our tiers a lot. 
And I think we're, we're about to give up the guppy ghost here, which is fine. We, we've made this run work in spite of it. It's starting to look exceptionally like we're not going to um, find the boss room over this side of the map. But I almost want to just stick with it because we could. Careful. Careful. And, you know, to be honest with you, I'm in a bit of an a interesting standpoint from an HP perspective. Oh, that's good stuff right there. So that becomes our reroll target. Yeah, that's exactly what I was actually going to talk about. Is like, on the last run, we had roughly this amount of health, but we had the one-up to back us up. This is awesome. So, effectively, that's a huge boost for us. Uh, especially if we don't end up using uh, the one-up until after the Isaac fight. Like, if we can use the one-up and then have full health for the blue baby fight, that will help us out a great deal. Because it, it minimizes, you know, the effects of, um, you know, getting whittled down, basically. So I'm super stoked about that, and this actually did end up being the right way to get to the boss room. Just a, it was a long trip, see you next fall. Yeah, it's a range upgrade. Just range in tears, but that's okay. And it's looking like it'll be a pretty easy boss fight. Um, we, we only have one orbital, and it might not even block shots. Our rate of fire is not incredible. It's fast, but triple shot brings it down a little bit. Which is actually a good thing in this case, because we're not going to summon so many shots from Isaac. And uh, we'll have the added benefit, of course, of um, you know using Sacrificial Dagger occasionally when we get hit. And there's some HP that we can get when we, uh, when we finish this fight. So, this looks like one of those rare situations where I'm, you know, strong in the rooms leading up to the boss, and strong on the boss as well. Maybe even proportionally so. So, uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I haven't even used any of my Mr. Mega Bombs, and we have 22 of them. We can save that as a, a bigger benefit for uh, Blue Baby, I guess. But truth be told, it's it's totally possible that that one up ends up being the uh, the item that uh, seals this for us. Late game one up or having a one up in the late game, so so useful. I used to really really underrate the one up. All right, so let's get our HP. The, at this point, I'm not getting the HP for survival. I'm getting the HP for like temporary life support because the longer we can go without using this one up, the much better our odds become as a result. And I know this is going to use a lot of bombs. Whatever. It's worth it. Four bombs for one red heart? Sure, why not? And we still have the four, I five items because of Wheel of Fortune that we're going to get on the chest. Feeling pretty all right. Let's see what we got going on for ourselves here. First item Bean. Sucks. Celtic Cross. Okay. Homing bombs. All right, cheers. Pretty bad. Fortune teller could play it, but let's get a move on. Infestation. I have a half a mind to reroll all these. I know that Mr. Mega homing bombs seems like a good decision. I don't think it's that useful. Celtic cross is actually the one I'm going to pick up, and we'll still have four pedestals. I pick up Celtic cross. It gives me a couple of periods of invincibility on the boss. That gives me the ability to do a ton of damage with sacrificial dagger. I think it's important. Here we pick up Yum Heart. Um, we we take the money from it, or uh, not the money, the HP, we get Remote Detonator, we get a little bit of value from Deck of Cards in the form of the tower, and then we leave and get ready to reroll again, because uh, obviously those are all um, spacebar items that I really want nothing to do with. The only reason I didn't touch Teleport, or didn't do anything with Teleport is because, oh man, what a terrible room for damage. Uh, teleport gives me no benefit by, by playing it, so... We'll just, uh, it could take me closer to the boss, but I don't want that. I want the rerolls at this point. Those could help me out a lot more. So, pretty shitty, uh, you know, chests so far. That's okay. That's bad as well. We got plenty of time here, though. So, I'm not stressing out too much about this, this HP that I'm losing. What I will say, though, is that, um, I think that'll, that'll change if I don't manage to, um, if, if I don't manage to take my one up like into the fight, basically. Little chat is terrible. Could ruin our half heart interval. So I see Rosary. I will pick up Rosary. No, I can't. There we go. Um, Dead Sea Scrolls will use once. It's always a risk. Monstro's Tooth isn't coming down, apparently. The other items are trash. Dead Sea Scrolls. Holy water, sack of pennies, obviously nothing we need in there. Shouldn't need to do any more uh, rigorous explanations than that. Can't believe I got hit there. Can't believe I just ran in and got hit again, thinking that I had permanent Polaroid invincibility, but, you know, there's, uh, there's Celtic Cross working out for me, at least. 
and the rosary is all again like if we end up not taking the spirit arts from the rosary into the fight that's fine as long as it keeps us alive long enough to bring our one up into the fight or like the room just prior to it there we go okay so we're coming up close here i am really really strongly predicting that the streak continues here um and and it is you know blossoming into a really genuine streak it's been like a week or so since i lost maybe even more and uh that's that's good that feels great, actually. So we have homing, or not homing bombs, we have Mr. Mega Bomb, so I'll probably use this tower card on the boss fight. Oh, there we go. Polyphemus. Lemon Mishap, obviously god awful, but Polyphemus is, uh, it's carry. It's a carry item. We didn't need it, we were already kind of carried, but yeah, this is, uh, very, very nice. And again, uh, the standard philosophy of just keep yourself alive long enough for the game to give you what you need ends up working out pretty nicely for us here. May not even need to use our 1-up at this point. What do we have here? Alright, a couple of Widows. A few Widows. I don't know why a couple of... Just, it sounds like such a better quantity. Just it kind of rolls off the tongue. And I'm not... Oh, I picked it up anyway. Good. Um, I'm not even going to go back and reroll yet. Because when we die, we'll respawn uh, in the spawn room, I think. And I'll just be able to reroll right away. So, I'm not going to, you know, use our tower card. I'm not going to... Um, worry too much about any kind of like next level tactics i'm just going to try to brute force the win here with the little amount of hp that we have and this is a pretty strong indicator that this fight is going to go totally fine for us with full health if i actually had a half heart interval oh, never mind if i had a half heart interval it wouldn't have been a problem but in any case it wasn't a problem anyway again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did click the like button helps me out a great deal and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future but for now thanks for watching y'all and i'll see you next time